who operated the boat? Did alcohol play a factor in the operation of the boat? Tonight, inside the investigation into the boat crash that killed Marlins pitcher Jose Fernandez and two of his friends. CBS 4's Hank Tester reports from Marlins Park with what we found out today. Early on after Jose Fernandez died, we heard this. Alcohol, as of right now, was not involved. That was then, now we know. The Sunday, September 25th boating accident took the life of Florida Marlins ace pitcher Jose Fernandez, featured a deadly brew of speed, nighttime navigation, and alcohol. From a warrant issued to allow investigators to search Fernandez's boat, an investigator was told by the associate medical examiner that all three bodies individually had a strong odor of alcohol emanating from them. Investigators still have not indicated who was driving the boat when it crashed. Dead, Emilio Macias and Eduardo Rivero. What's next? The two young men who were recently acquainted with Jose Fernandez, They've hired attorneys. Fernandez and his new pals had drinks at American Social on the Miami River before heading out of government cut, a bar receipt found on the body of one victim. They will in all likelihood be filing a civil lawsuit based on negligence for the wrongful death of these two individuals. If suits are filed, many involved will have to relive that night that took Jose Fernandez from the Marlins, the fans, the baseball world and it will hurt. It's a story that'll just keep reliving itself again and again and again until there's either a settlement or the case goes to a jury trial. The toxicology tests for Fernandez and his pals are complete but have not been released. The same for the autopsies. The investigation continues. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News tonight.